up y'all and welcome back to my channel my name is Everlene Chanel for those who are new here for those who are returning I just want to say welcome back and I want to say thank you so of course today I'm just gonna be doing a video it's just a how-to video on how to do my contour and how to do my highlighting and like apply my brush and brush apply my blush and things like that okay but before we get into the video if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and turn your notifications on, okay? <laughs> okay, P is this? <laughs> All right, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Let's so, get into getting into contouring. When you contour, you always want to make sure that um, your sculpting color is always one to two shades lighter than you are. And of course, I'm going to be using my Ayla Lilith. <laughs> LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. And so, before, like, um, I just squeeze it out a little bit. Sometimes I put it on, I have like a little, a little mixing pan, as y'all can see. Like, it's a little dirty because I've been using it. But, um, yeah, I have like a mixing pan that I put it on sometimes. But, like, you can do it this way as well. So, of course, you can squeeze it out. It has a brush at the tip. And I just dab it on like this, just like that. And then I'm going to go in with, um, okay, I'm sorry, no, not yet. Let me finish doing this. <laughs> sorry, y'all. I'm trying to boost it. <laughs> Always do my nose like that, and then I'm going to go up and out like that. Mm -hmm. And of course, like I already have my face and stuff done because I'm just showing y'all like how to contour um, for beginning beginners. <laughs> and I just take it down there like that, and I do it like that. Okay. And then I go in with my color for my, my not my sculpt, but my contour. And you want to make sure that shade is one to two shades darker. So for your sculpt, you always want to make sure it's one to two shades lighter. And for your contour, you always want to make sure it's one to two shades darker. So going in with my contour, I'm using my Sephora, um, my Sephora Bright Bright Future <laughs> Gel Serum Concealer. And I'm going to, um, I'm using the chocolate, the color chocolate souffle. I don't know, y'all. I guess I can't talk. And so when I do that, I just, like, you know, make the duck lips. And I just dab, dab, dab. Like so. I put it around my, um, I put it there. And then I come... To my nose bring it down like that and you have to be careful because sometimes you can put too much sometimes I put too much and like you'll be blending for forever like it's a little bit too much right there but it's okay I'll be able to fix it and blend it and then I just make like a little straight line right there dip it back in like that and go like that okay so then I take my flat concealer. I have two, um, so I have two concealer, um, flat top concealer brushes. Me, I like to blend mine out with concealer brushes. You, a lot of people use the um, beauty blenders, which I like to use the blend beauty blender as well. But I just prefer to use the um, the flat top because. I don't know it works better for me so you have to find what works best for you and like go that way so taking my flat top concealer brush I just go hold on y'all let me make sure I got the right one okay yeah so taking my flat top concealer brush I just go in like that and make sure it's all blended out like so like this and then And you can always bring it down like that's as far as I bring my concealer down 
but you can always bring it down further if you like. And just blend, 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 blend. And y'all want to make sure it is blended very well because you don't want any um, harsh lines of demarcation or anything like that. Okay? All right. I know I said, okay, like y'all talking back to me, but I'm just going <laughs> to imagine y'all are. All right. Okay. And then, uh, so, just blend, blend, blend. Blend, 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 blend. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So, okay. So, of course, like, and then... You blend your nose. Well, sometimes I get my contour mixed in with that, but it's okay. It's okay. All right. Then I go in with my second flat top concealer brush, and I just blend that in like so. And really, you wanna like I blend down, but you really wanna blend up. So, well, I'm blending up now, but a lot of times when I start, I start blending down. It's just out of habit. Sorry, y'all. Okay. And there's different ways to contour. Like, some people don't contour their nose. Um, me, I like it because, I don't know, I just like it. I like the way it looks. And I, like, for the longest, I didn't know how to contour. But I liked how that contour looked. You know, I liked how it looked. Like, okay. Like, you know, whatever. <laughs> but it's just your preference. Some people don't like the... Mm -hmm. Some people don't like it. All right, so now that I have that all blended, as you can see, I am going to start setting my um, my contour. So I take my Juvia's Place, and I'm using the shade Kalahari. Um, I'm going to take that. I'm going to dab a little bit into the top. Just like that and I'm going to take my beauty blender now my beauty blender isn't wet um because I didn't wet it but you can always spray it with like some um with some um what am I trying to say setting spray and wet it that way all right so now I got that and then you just go in and dab 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 like so I like that. And that's just to set in my sculpt. And of course, I'm going to put that everywhere that I put that lighter concealer. So it's going to be under my eyes, on my forehead, on my chin. And my cupid's bow. Boom. And then I'm going in with my true. It's a little wet. Um, I'm going in with my Black Radiant True Complexion Contour Palette. And I'm going to use this shade right here. You always want to make sure that whatever you use, you know, it complements the um, the concealer that you use to do your sculpt. So I'm going to go in with take this brush. Just give me a little bit on there. I tap the excess off. And make sure you don't get a lot because if you do get a lot, you'll be blending for days. I'm just telling y'all, I made that mistake before. I 
and of course you just put that everywhere you put that um that contour concealer but for my nose i take a smaller brush so i'm gonna take a small angle brush like this and i'm just gonna i like that and i'm just gonna set it around my nose Right, and if you want a more like chiseled look what you can do is go back in with your um your highlighter your highlighter but it's for your you know the setting powder for your um for your sculpt make the duck face again And you just pull that down like so. You see? And then I'll also go back in with my True Complexion palette. And of course, this is the Dark to Deep. I dip back into that shade in the middle. And I'll just put a little under there as well. You know? Because over the years, y'all, my chin has gotten a little fat. Just a little bit. <laughs> this, um, this gives it a more um, slender and chisel appearance. Boom. Okay. So, let just sit. Let that bake for a few minutes. While I'm doing it, I'm just um, while I'm letting it bake, I'm just gonna put this in. Alright, so I'm letting that bake. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Ooh. Be careful though, because that powder can get everywhere. Like, I know this is my makeup, bro, but still, like, I want it to be cute. Nice. Okay. And also, I don't know. Just make sure. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this brush. You can use the beauty blender or you can use this brush. Um, or you can use the brush. I'm gonna take my brush. I'm just gonna spray a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna well, I'm just gonna spray it once with some setting spray. And I'm gonna just like wave it around like so. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start blending that together. And I always blend up, like I said, always blend up. And you have to blend until you don't see any harsh lines. Is it weird that I like to see my face with the baking powder and stuff on it? Or is that cute to y'all too? I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. But I am kind of like a weirdo. Oh well. Yeah, make sure y'all blend really well because you don't want any lines of demarcation. You want to 
make sure everything looks as flawless as possible. Because me, like, I don't know. I like to look really natural. Even though I have my makeup, I still like to look somewhat like myself. Like, I don't feel like makeup, um, I don't feel like makeup transforms me. I feel like it does accentuate my natural beauty, but I don't feel like it just, you know, transformed me. Because I done seen some people where they look different. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> like a totally different person. And then I'm going to set it. I'm just use my MAC Flip. I don't know why I can't talk, y'all. I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus and just set it. And I'm gonna take my fan here. Let me stand it just a little bit. Ooh. All right. So as y'all can see, like I got a slight highlight contour going on. You see? All right. And then, so I'm going to take my blush and I'm just going to use the um, Bellissimo Bronze by Milani. It's the Milani Baked Brush. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheek and take it up. Y'all, this bronze is so pretty. Like, this is the type of bronze I like. I mean, like the type of blush I like because it's not... Like, it's just bronze. It's not, like, you know, too much. It's not too much. I feel like this is for people who don't really like to do too much, who like to be cute. But they like, okay. You know, I'm not going to be too, too extra. All right. Boom. All right. And then I'm going to take my highlighter. So I'm going to do my highlighter. So I'm going to use my highlighter out of my True Complexion Contour Palette because that is my favorite highlighter and i'm just going to take this brush get it and i'm going to apply it here i'm going to apply that right above like where i applied that blush and i'm going to take it up like this and always remember to tap the excess off y'all even when you're doing like y'all eyeshadow and stuff, always tap the excess off. I highlight my chin. I highlight my nose. I mean, I just feel like that's so cute. And bring it up to my forehead. Just basically. Mm. Where I did everything. Alright. And you also want to make sure that's blended too. So don't. Like sometimes you got to take your fingertip. And just. You know. Do it like so. Okay y'all. So this is the final look. I hope y'all like it. I added a little white liner. And a little green glitter. To my bottom lash line. And my waterline. Just to you know. Give it a little razzle dazzle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no but um yeah so if y'all enjoy my video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to comment um also like if you want to leave if you want to leave if you want to see how i achieve this full look go ahead and leave a um comment below and if i get like i don't know just leave a comment below and i'll go ahead and do that for y'all okay so um yeah, everything that I use in this video, of course, will be in the details below. And also, don't forget to connect with me on Instagram at everlinya.chanel. So, that'll be in the description below again, but it's everlinya.chanel. Okay? All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I want to say thank you again for stopping by. Thank you for taking your time to watch my video. And thank you for your support. I really appreciate you all. And... I hope you all are staying safe. I hope you all are staying positive and I hope you're staying productive during this quarantine. I just want to let y'all know that it'll be over soon. So just keep y'all head up, okay? 
tarry a little longer. <laughs> no, but like, keep your head up. This too shall pass. And like, I just want to say thank you. Thank you again. I could not say thank you enough. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Especially to the essential workers. Like, y'all all important, but thank you to y'all as well. So I really appreciate you. And I hope y'all just have a great, um, have a great rest of quarantine or, you know, have a great week of quarantine, rather. <laughs> okay? Well, thank you all um, for stopping by. Don't forget to connect. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? Thank you. <laughs>